Hello, this is Vesa Juvonen and this is a quick video on how to automate your sign out uh, from all of the Office 365 and Azure services or Microsoft services as part of your uh, development uh, activities, which is pretty common uh, thing. So let's have a look on this one in, in practice. Um, so what I'm doing here is that I'm signing in uh, to my own developer tenant. And for example, when I'm doing any of the demos and all of that, I want to actually do the keep me signed in. Um, option uh, and so I'm able to then sign in and move across uh, the tenant and all of the show the, the apps and all the other stuff uh, as easily as possible. When I do that, however, uh, it is actually storing the, the access token uh, or the, the signing in uh, operation. Um, and as an end result, even though I cr I'm, cr I'm going to close my browser and let's actually start the browser again. Uh, and then I would like to go, for example, uh, any of my, our internal sites as a Microsoft sites. It's going to give me this uh, classic ex exception. You've probably seen this quite a few times uh, if you do development uh, across multiple tenants. Um, and there's multiple ways of solving this. Um, uh, you can do trust between the tenants in, in certain scenarios. Uh, you can do other stuff as well. Uh, for me, those, some of those options are not available um, due to well, miscellaneous reasons. So what I've done uh, is that I, I have a PowerShell a command which will help actually sign me out uh, from the all of the Microsoft services. So I can anytime do the, the, the sign in uh, or store the signing option. And then I can anytime make sure that I'm fully signed out of all of the services and Microsoft services as needed. And I'm going to show a small trick on, on automating this as easy as possible, because at least for me, I'm doing this all the time. So what I've done here, uh, is that I've downloaded the zip file, uh, which is available in the blog post uh, where the video is attached as well and in the, in the video descriptions. Uh, I'm going to extract that. Uh, I'm going to actually go inside of it and, and just copy the content and move it back to the C storage uh, URL. And as you can see, I have a one PowerShell command, uh, which, I, which is the one which I'm going to execute. And then I have an, an, an additional subfolder where I, where I have a batch file. And let's have a look on this uh, and update uh, the batch file accordingly. And I'm going to move that to the right uh, window. So what I'm doing here that I, is the, I'm whenever I execute the patch file, I'm going to actually execute the PowerShell um, yeah, as well, which will then clear all the, the registered information. So I don't need to actually clear any of my historical settings in a browser. I don't need to use an in private uh, option. Uh, I can easily just switch uh, between the tenants uh, based on the need and based on the demo situation. So let's actually update that path accordingly. Uh, so I actually extracted everything uh, to the C storage uh, folder. Uh, so the BS, uh, BS script or the PowerShell script is found. Uh, and now what I can do is that I can execute the patch file uh, from this location. The reason why I actually have this subfolder here is something uh, what I've just used to start doing myself uh, is that I'm what I'm doing here is that I'm actually adding a new toolbar. Uh, so I'm using the right clicking the, the taskbar and clicking a new toolbar. Let's do that one more time. Um, and then I'm going to go to that same folder, uh, C storage sign out where that patch file is located. So let's click select folder. And now I have a really neat and a fast way uh, to actually do a sign out from Office 365 by clicking that uh, arrow button over there, which will show me the batch file and I'm able to execute that as we go. So let's make sure that this is working properly. Uh, I'm going to actually close the browser. You need to do that. Uh, I'm going to actually close, uh, execute the batch file. And that's going to then sign me out from the system. It's going to actually open up a, a IE automatically as well, and it's going to close up, uh, close up the IE. Uh, as well. It slightly depends on are you seeing this issue, are you using ADFS, are you using dual authentication and so on. But um, this is an evolution of a script which I used to share in my blog post uh, a while back. Um, and what the script is actually doing, it's doing a few things. And let's open up that one in the PowerShell editor. Uh, first of all, I'm going to actually zoom in just quickly going here. It's going to delete all the Office 365 cookies uh, with a, a certain pattern. So I don't need to actually go and clear all of my cookies, which might impact all of the other things once you have signed in. 
Um, and then it's doing something. We do have a, a knowledge-based article in our uh, Microsoft support uh, that you need to go to these or hit these locations within your browser to truly sign out from Office 365 service. It's, again, it slightly depends on, on the authentication model, uh, what you're using. Um, but this is automating the whole thing. Uh, so it's uh, starting the, the Internet Explorer, accessing those endpoints, and then it's closing those um, Internet Explorer or the browser windows, uh, and then we're good to go. And let's make sure that that's uh, actually the case. So if I now hit the AKMS uh, Office Dev PNP site, which is one of the, well, it's an internal site, uh, we're able to see that it's again asking me to sign in. So I don't have anything stored in my cache. I don't have any cookies, which would be trying to automate my, my looking into the tenant. And again, just to reinforce the message, this is not required, obviously, for a normal user. Uh, but as I say, if you're a developer and you have multiple tenants, um, this is highly convenient model. Uh, and I, I personally, well, do this all the time. And that's the reason why I then include this uh, additional quick way of executing the batch file directly from my taskbar. Small trick, small, uh, small trick for you, uh, and hopefully it's useful uh, for some of you. Thanks.